We're here uh, with Arizona Diamondback prospect Slade Saccone, former University of Miami standout from the state of Florida, from Orlando. And um, we want to ask Slade, you know, talk about the Fall League. I know you, you dealt with some injuries and such. So what are you getting from, from the Fall League right now? I'm, get, I'm getting absolutely a ton out of the Fall League right now. I mean, one, it's driving up my inning count, which was unfortunately cut short this year by a, a minor injury that I was able to rehab and get back here for. I mean, the competition is, is the cream of the crop. I mean, it's it's the next generation of, of big leaguers, so it's great to just be in this atmosphere, be around these guys. They're making me better, I'm making them better, and we're having a great time doing it. So well, That's great. I know, you, former, like I said, former Kane, you know, so, um, you know, what do you, you know, talk to me a little about your your career at University of Miami I know you kind of dealt with you know some issues there and 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 but you know obviously you're a guy that put yourself in a position to be a first round pick absolutely yeah so I had I had a great great time in my career at Miami it was a little short because of the COVID year and being a draft level sophomore but I was able to use Miami as a huge uh, learning platform with uh, the staff, the coaches, just the life experiences there. So, I mean, I couldn't be more thankful for the university. What do you, you know, being from Orlando, being from the state of Florida where we could play year round, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just talk about the advantages that a, that a player from the state has. And, you know, obviously you probably played ball from the time you were a little kid. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, just seeing last year is one of the biggest advantages was everything was shut down and I was I never had a hiccup in my in my my program in my throwing program and my workout program because there were so many areas that I could go out and do things on my own and the weather permitting the the area permitting the competition permitting I mean everybody's there is, is challenging you to you know always thinking about baseball playing baseball so it's a great place to be able to train go home in the off season too and just get better at and, and talk about the opportunity at, at Arizona. Obviously, you know, the organization is a, a rough year in 21, you know, at the big league level, but, you know, a good farm system with good promising players such as yourself. You know, how do you kind of see, you know, being part of this organization moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I, I've had nothing but good things to say about this organization since I've joined it. They've, they've worked really well hand in hand with me every step of the way um, from last year at the alt site to instructs to coming out a little bit earlier this year to now being in the fall league every step of the way there's been good communication there's been good been good uh conversations i've had with with players and coaches that are showing me their true interest in making me the best player that i can be and and just speak to you know are you working on stuff in, in, oh, right absolutely. now in terms of secondary pitches or anything of command is there absolutely, any primary yeah. thing at this camp yeah there's there's never enough time to stop working <laughs> and um a lot, of, a lot of the stuff I've been working on has been my secondary stuff. Um, not not just trying to make it better, but trying to figure out my usage in terms of, you know, may, I've been I've been using my changeup a lot more and I've really, really noticed that has helped uh, my, my pitch count, my repertoire getting deeper into games, making my fastball more effective. And I found my curveball a little bit more rather than in college, I had a really, really heavy slider mix. So having the two different pitches, the curveball and the slider that I can drop in for strikes early in count and then finish with late in counts is is really nice. Yeah, and lastly, I want to ask, you know, uh, Dimebacks this year in the second round took a Miami Hurricane and Adrian Del Castillo, a catcher who you threw to, obviously. Uh, just speak to, you know, your when, they, when you guys drafted him and then catching up with him here in Arizona. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the moment they drafted him, I saw I was... I, I'm sure I wasn't the first person to congratulate him, obviously, but I was I was trying to be because, I mean, him and I worked together from the moment we got to Miami as the two guys that came in. Thank you very Thank much. You. I appreciate it.